To the left hand side. Good long ball forward to Govine. It's an even better ball out wide. Rioi gets the ball in. Is there a finish there? It's parried out and it's a goal for Guernsey early on in this one. Matt Loring open to scoring in the afternoon. Four minutes gone. And that came from Dave Royal's good delivery. Caused trouble for the Harry Cant, the QPR low knee. And Ashford just couldn't deal with that one. A good goal there from Matt Loring. Early doors in this one. Vance goes into that one, wins the ball back. And it falls to Govine, who's threaded through. Woolbridge. Woolbridge, good attempt on target. And Harry Cant called properly into action there. With some really good distribution. Finds Rioi, but Rioi's touch isn't quite as good as he'd have hoped. And it's come all the way out to Eschen for Ashford. Ashford equalised the scoring then. It's one all here in this one. And it was some finish, to be fair. But Ashford Town happy just to sit off and clear it away when it comes. Guernsey back in possession. Lay off to Loring, who looks for his second of the game. And Matt Loring's been denied by Harry Cant. Still pressure coming from Guernsey. It comes in and Cant's denied him again. But Lowering, Loring, I should say, is back in possession. Finds Govine. Govine running towards the box. It's going to be a penalty for Guernsey FC. Sublime dribbling from Govine. And Loring looks to be taking the penalty. He's been tasked with the job to beat Harry Cant, who saved two penalties midweek. This time, he can't. 11 goals this season for Loring, top scorer for Guernsey, and two today. That brings him up to 30 club goals. The goal kick from Harry Cant does eventually come and is sent all the way down long for a Guernsey foot but it's cleared all the way back quick one two and all of a sudden Govine's in by the looks of it out of nothing Govine we've just been mentioning Govine he's been causing problems for Ashford Town and Govine has made it three today for the visitors that came from absolutely nothing a mix up at the back by well, the looks of it, Candolo. Candolo finds Reed Solanke on the edge of the area. Solanke causing problems now. And Reed Solanke's dribbling. He's beaten one, he's beaten two. Reed Solanke, can he get a shot off? Ever so close. But a great sliding tackle. Only cleared it as far as Candolo. Candolo's delivery way too hard. 